this episode of BBK's video installation series, we'll be covering the installation and troubleshooting of BBK's electronically controlled or drive-by wire throttle bodies for late model Fords. We'll be working with an 06 Mustang GT, but these steps will also cover any Ford car or truck with a drive-by wire throttle body. This includes GT500s and Mustang GTs equipped with popular aftermarket superchargers such as Celine, Roush, Ford Racing, Magna Charger, or Whipple to name a few. During the following steps, please keep in mind that the electronic components on these throttle bodies are fairly sensitive. Use care when handling them. Let's get started by removing the intake system to access the throttle body. Disconnect the PCV hose and unplug the mass air meter by releasing the locking tabs and pulling them away from the intake system. Next, loosen the hose clamps at the throttle body and at the air filter with an 8mm socket. Then remove the tube and the filter from the vehicle. This vehicle already has a BBK cold air kit, part number 1736. This kit greatly improved performance with no additional tuning. Achieving an accurate throttle position sensor voltage setting is important to the performance and drivability of the vehicle once the BBK throttle body is installed. Follow the instructions on the screen carefully to check the voltage with the digital voltmeter. If necessary, take time to pause or skip back to verify that you are performing these steps properly. Once you've read your TPS voltage, turn the key off, disconnect the voltmeter and the negative battery terminal to eliminate the chance of an accidental short or spark during the rest of the installation process. Now you can disconnect the throttle position sensor and electric motor harnesses from the throttle body by simply pulling back on the red locking clips and squeezing the connectors while pulling them away. Use 8mm and 10mm sockets to remove the stock throttle body. Keep in mind, the nuts on the bottom of the throttle body are relatively small, so be sure to keep a firm grip on your nuts. If you drop one, it could get lodged in the alternator. The assembly portion of this installation seems to confuse most people and is without a doubt the number one tech call subject at BBK. The first thing you'll need to do is remove the TPS sensor from the throttle body. Once unbolted, be sure to pull it straight off and do not twist the insides of it. This part alone is $85 at Ford and will be destroyed if it is turned beyond its limited range of travel. Take a moment to feel the action of the throttle body. Notice that it snaps closed when opened by hand. Next, remove the perimeter screws from the electric motor housing. The plastic cap spring is inside the housing. That will uncoil once the housing is removed from the unit. Moving on to the BBK throttle body, notice the body has a hole in it specifically for the locating tab on the TPS, so you do not need to twist the TPS to install it straight on. Here's the locator tab now. All you need to do is make sure the blades on the throttle body are closed and then stick the TPS right on so the tabs line up with the locator, then bolt it together. The motor housing has a removable cap. To remove the cap, just pop it out from the inside with a ratchet handle or your thumb. Be careful though because there are some edges that could cut your thumb in that hole. Now let's identify some of the key parts in case there are adjustments needed once we get back to the car. The plunger has a spring captured inside. The allen headed set screw keeps the plunger from spinning. Here's the catch slot for the pigtail hook on the plastic cap spring which we will go ahead and install now. Make sure the hook goes into the catch slot, of course. Finally, we have the motor housing cover. For now, we'll only put two screws into the motor housing until we verify the TPS voltage. Checking the action again, you can tell something's missing. The plastic cap spring needs to be rotated. There are tabs on the plastic cap spring that need to line up with landings in the motor housing cover. To achieve this, you need to rotate the spring cap counterclockwise until they line up. There is one large tab and one small tab. There is one large landing and one small landing. To line them up, you will need to spin the cap approximately 180 degrees until they line up. Then you may have to lift a little to get them to snap in. This is the kind of action you're going to need to see before you put the BBK throttle body on your car. If it doesn't snap back, recheck your assembly. 
The good people at Ford have done away with the throttle body gasket. Here you can see that they've integrated a very nice O-ring. This is why BBK does not supply a gasket for this particular throttle body. All you need to do is make sure the O-ring is wiped clean and there is no debris inside the mouth of the intake before you put the throttle body on. Use the supplied Allen headed screws on the top and the original nuts on the bottom. Again, grip your nuts tightly so as not to drop one of them into the alternator. Next we'll go ahead and plug in the TPS and the electric motor connections to the BBK throttle body. If you're installing a BBK throttle body onto a car with an aftermarket supercharger that replaces the intake manifold, such as this magnet charger, you'll want to make sure that there isn't a lip or edge where the inlet of the blower is smaller than the outlet of the BBK throttle body. On this magnet charger, we used a Dremel tool to carefully port match the inlet of the blower to match the BBK throttle body nicely. If you aren't sure how to port match, please contact an experienced professional. Minor grinding dust can destroy the inside of a supercharger very easily. Now you can reinstall the cold air kit, reconnect the battery, and start the engine. You may notice the engine will rev a little higher on cold starts with the BBK throttle body. This is normal for a larger throttle body. In case you run into the check engine, angry wrench, or fail safe mode when you start the car, let's move on to troubleshooting. Notice the engine is running very rough and the warning lights are on in the cluster. Shut the key off so you can follow the troubleshooting guide to diagnose and correct the issue. These lights let you know when there's an issue with the car that must be addressed immediately before you drive. These cars are sensitive, but will bounce back to normal when the issues are corrected. The first step in troubleshooting is to verify that all connections are good on and around the throttle body and cold air kit. If the connections are good, continue by checking the TPS voltage again to verify that it's in the right factory setting. In this case, the voltage is too high. It must be adjusted. To do this, you'll need to unplug the electric motor connection from the throttle body, release the plastic cap spring by pushing it inward, then remove the motor housing to access the 2 millimeter Allen headed set screw. With the key on, the set screw removed and the meter connected, adjust the TPS voltage by turning the plunger until the desired setting is attained. Once you've done this, verify that the throttle body is not binding or sticking and that the plunger tip deploys every time it's depressed. Now go ahead and tighten the set screw, put the motor housing cover back on with two screws, and rotate and lock the plastic cap spring into the landings. With everything reconnected and ready to start, cycle the key from the off to the on position three times without starting the engine, then start it on the fourth time around. This is done to clear any soft codes the computer may have before attempting to start it again. Once the errors are clear, you can take the car out for a test drive to verify the installation. Obviously, you'll want to obey all laws and use common sense when driving your car at all times, even during testing. Once you've verified that no further adjustments are required, go ahead and put all the screws back into the motor housing cover. Then line up the tabs on the removable cap, snap it into place, and enjoy your new throttle body. Thanks for watching.